Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, bringing forth to you another video that's going to be teaching you about rightly dividing the Word of God so you can perfectly understand your salvation, how to get saved. And I'm just going to say right now, I'm going to be dogmatic about this. If you are trying to get saved through all the false doctrines out there taught by many churches all over the world, false doctrines are basically different forms or twists off, cherry picking from the kingdom gospel that Jesus was teaching to the Jews and specifically only for the Jews during the Old Testament, the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and even moving forward into the book of Acts, specifically the first seven chapters. If you're trying to come to salvation through that gospel or any twist off from it you will end up going to hell and the reason why i say that because today we have the gospel of grace as an effect the only gospel that god accepts right now for heavenly salvation that's the program that's in effect right now okay it's paul's gospel first corinthians 15 1 through 4 we are saved by grace through faith not of works lest any man should boast salvation today is a gift from god you don't have to work for it Romans through Philemon, our eternal instructions on how to get saved today. The rest of the Bible is for you, but it's not to you or about you. And one of the greatest tricks, one of the greatest deceptions that the devil does is try to make you think that you are saved by your own righteousness and your own works by following the kingdom gospel taught by the red lettering in the Bible, the words that Jesus spoke to Israel. Okay? Jesus also spoke to Paul, too. Jesus spoke to Paul through the revelation of the Holy Spirit. He was initially met by Jesus on the road to Damascus, but then later on, through the revelation of the Holy Spirit, he receives the gospel of grace. Paul's gospel is also Jesus' instructions on how to get saved for the Gentiles so that a new creation can be achieved, the body of Christ. A completely different entity than Israel. A completely different entity with a completely different gospel. The gospel of grace preached by our Apostle Paul, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. That is completely separate from the gospel that was preached in the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and the first seven chapters of Acts. This is the only gospel God has available to us today. For all Jews and Gentiles to get saved. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Galatians 3.28 There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ, the body of Christ, one in Christ. God is creating the body of Christ now. This is why we are one in Christ. If you read your Bible, when Jesus was preaching to Israel, when he sent out the twelve in Matthew ten five, what do you say? These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. Why do you say that? The gospel that they were preaching at that point, the gospel that Jesus gave them through his own words, you know, that same red lettering that you read in your Bible, was not for them. And all their descendants, which are you and me, it wasn't going to work for them. It was only for the descendants of Abraham, Israel. You see the same thing in Matthew chapter 15, when the Canaanite woman came unto him, who was a Gentile, asking for help because her daughter was vexed with the devil. And what did Jesus say to her? But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. His ministry and everything he was teaching at that time on how to get saved, which was the earthly kingdom gospel, was only for Israel. He had a plan for the Gentiles, but he knew he had to take care of things with Israel first 
So that way, later on down the road, the Gentiles can get saved as well. This is why the Bible always talks about the whole world, all the nations of the world will be blessed through Israel. And you wonder why Israel has always been a target by the devil back then and even today. Just use some common sense here, okay? The kingdom gospel was back then. The gospel of grace is now. The kingdom gospel will return and will be reinstated after the rapture resurrection, which is the event that closes out the age of grace, which is the event that represents everybody receiving the completion of their eternal salvation rewards that were saved under Paul's gospel. They have already received a glorified spirit, but now they are receiving a glorified physical body as well. So now the body of Christ is achieved. The gospel of grace has been closed out. And now it's Israel's turn to receive their glorified promises as well. And in order for that to happen, Daniel's 70th week has to be completed. It's the final week of Israel's 70 year prophetic timeline before they receive their physical kingdom on the earth with Jesus sitting on his throne. Jesus had an earthly ministry on the earth for the Jews, the kingdom gospel, and Jesus has a heavenly ministry for the body of Christ. It's a new gospel for a new creation, a completely different destiny than Israel who's here on the earth. You got one gospel for a heavenly civilization, which is Paul's gospel, and you got a gospel for an earthly civilization, which is in the four gospels and everything that Jesus taught in it. The kingdom gospel is a true gospel and it does work, but God has not ordained it to work for us at this time. It's simply not a way for you to get saved right now. It was a way for you to get saved back then before Paul's gospel came about. And it'll be a way for you to get saved after Paul's gospel closes out at the rapture resurrection. When you're in the seven year tribulation. Then at that point, you can apply everything taught about in the kingdom gospel. All your works and your faith in Jesus Christ. All the talk about losing your salvation. Having your name blotted out of the Lamb's book of life. The whole nine yards. This is why God has offered to all of us a simple gospel that is basically set up as a gift that he gives to you. And that gift is 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, the gospel of grace. It is a gift, G-I-F-T, gift from God. Have you ever received a gift? Did you have to work to get it? No, because if that was the case... It was not a gift. Did you have to work to sustain that gift? No. Because if that was the case, it wasn't a gift. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift. G-I-F-T. A hard emphasis on the word gift here. Of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. The devil wants to make you think that you have to work your way through it based off the teaching of the kingdom gospel taught in the four gospels. Which makes sense. It makes perfectly good sense. That's why so many people buy into it. Because they understand that. They get to be co-saviors with Jesus Christ. They get to feel good about their own righteousness. And isn't that just a typical lie from Satan? Oh yeah, 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 the four gospels. Yeah, you uh, do good works and you have faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 that sounds honorable. That sounds incredible. Yeah, that works. Just not right now. What? No, nothing, nothing. Once again, just like in the Garden of Eden, all the half-truths. Just think about it. The Catholic Church that was started by the devil himself is all based on works to make it to heaven, which is completely the opposite of Paul's gospel. Hey, the devil doesn't care if you worship God. He just doesn't want you to go to heaven. He wants you to end up in hell. And as long as you believe that half-truth and he keeps you on that wrong track, when you think you're on the right track, hey, he's satisfied with that. You still end up dying in your sins and end up in hell. Mission accomplished. That's what he's doing with the Catholic Church. 
And then you have all the twist-offs from that moving forward, all the twist-offs from the Catholic Church, you know, the harlot and our daughters in the book of Revelation. Well, some people didn't agree with this, some people didn't agree with that. Moving forward, the Catholic Church divided and is subdivided and subbed and subdivided after that and so on and so forth. And it created all these other denominations, which, by the way, all teach a form of works to get saved. All the daughters are just like their mother, which, by the way, the Catholic Church is now calling them all home now. And that, of course, is another sign the tribulation is about to begin. So you live by the kingdom gospel or any other gospel that's a twist off from it that you see and learn in most churches today, you will end up coming up short because you did not believe in the gospel of grace preached by our apostle Paul. Most of these churches don't teach it and they also want Paul removed from the Bible. So that goes to show you that is where the truth is at. In fact, apostle Paul says this right here. Galatians 1 8 but though we or any angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you let him be accursed so when he says let them be accursed that means they're going to hell so if you take the Bible for its word right here if anybody teaches anything that is slightly different than what Paul teaches here in any way, shape, or form. Either people taking away from it or adding to it in any way, shape, or form. That is an alternate gospel. That is a different gospel. So if you look at these churches today teaching different twists off from the kingdom-based gospel or anything that's different in any way, shape, or form from Paul's gospel, those are hell-bound gospels there. But you might be saying, but Bob, you know, these churches are teaching such godly principles, though. Well, this is what our Apostle Paul has to say about people like that. In 2 Timothy 3, starting in verse 5, Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. So they're teaching godliness right now, which is great, but unfortunately, they're teaching that this godliness that you must do through your physical acts here on the earth will get you saved, which we know it won't. And it said that they deny the power thereof. What's that? That's the power of the Holy Spirit indwelling within you, rebirthing your spirit, regenerating your spirit, and sealing you in the body of Christ. Everything that the gift of God does for you. That's the power thereof. But they denied it. They denied God's free gift. And they wanted to make it on their own. Because they believed they could make it to heaven by their own godly works. Here on the earth through their fleshly works. And some people may do a really good job. But no matter how good they did, they'll still come up short. And if you come up short, it doesn't matter. You came up short. Even by a little bit. And if that's your condition after you die... You will go to hell and then the lake of fire. And we don't want to see that happen to you. So you must learn how to rightly divide the word of God so you can understand this gift. A lot of channels and most of your churches out there are too scared to tell you this stuff. Not us. But hey, it's your eternity. If you don't want to listen to this information ahead of you right now, that's on you. So don't come to me at the white throne judgment when two angels are escorting you to the lake of fire after judgment has been declared on you. And as they're dragging you right past me, you yell out to me, Hey, you should have warned me. And I'll say to you, I did. Remember that video I made about rightly dividing? That one you rejected? Yeah, that one. So with all that being said, let's get into the main teaching of this video right here. And Rodney's going to go into the book of James going forward. And rightly divide the word of God so you can have confidence in your salvation today. What's being offered today? What works today? And since we're limited to only 15 minute videos on this channel here. Because we have received two strikes so far for telling the truth. The link will be below on our backup channel for you to watch this whole video. When you get there just fast forward to the 15 minute mark. Unless you want to watch all this over again. We will see you there.